Hello, and welcome to the Bruno Boyero Giorno della Difesa. Today, we will go over five things that will help improve your team defense. We will look at some clips from practice, as well as from some games, and we'll go over some situations. Ready to get started? Here we go. Day of defense. Woohoo! Tip is take away the lane and force everything to the baseline. Allowing too many shots in the lane is a defense killer. The more you allow the, your opponent to attack the lane with passes and dribbles, the more your opponent breaks your defense down and the more your defense is on the chase. It becomes very difficult to defend the entire court when you have the entire court available to you. Forcing the ball baseline and keeping the ball out of the paint keeps the ball out of the middle and only allows the offense to operate on one half of the court. The following clips will show how we practice this on defense, and then we'll show some game film to uh, show how it is implemented. These first few game clips are great examples of forcing the ball out of the middle and pushing it to the sides and filtering it to your help. next several clips we will show what happens to your defense when in fact the ball does get to the middle and your defense does break down. Summer stuff too. So I, I started. 
deep in last year's playoffs, got eliminated by the Celtics, and they have changed dramatically from one year to the next. Ben Simmons hanging and scoring. Give Didi Deontay uh, the credit because not only was it downhill, but right. that's, that's a very nice move. Yeah, that's nice. Things to go on behalf. Simmons working it down. There's Simmons getting inside. The second tip to playing great team defense is to communicate. You have to talk. If you don't talk, your defense will break down. If there's no communication, as we saw in some of those previous clips, and we'll show you a few more of how we communicate in practice and how a lack of communication and breakdown can hurt your offense. We'll even show a clip from a NCAA championship game this year. Now, if you listen very closely in this particular pick, in these videos, you'll hear our team communicating defensive switches and who has the ball. Take a quick look at this particular play from Duke basketball this season. So on this particular play, as we look at it, everyone is matched. However, due to the lack of communication, two guys go with the cutter, leaving and exposing a wide open three-pointer. Simple communication could have stopped this play. They're exhausted, but let's take a look at one more play. Get just a few more stops. Bounce pass inside, and Taylor with two hands. Again, let's quickly break down this baseline OB. As a player comes off of a double screen, and then the second player comes off of a double screen, they're extremely concerned about the shooter that's popping out to the corner, and they leave. Number 21, wide open at the front of the rim for an easy dunk. La again, lack of communication. You have to talk on defense. The next tip is eliminate high percentage shots. The first high percentage shot is a free throw. Second highest percentage shot are layups and third highest percentage shot are uncontested threes. We like for teams to play in the yard. And when we talk about the yard, we talk about the three-point line to the paint. That's where we want teams to take shots. That's where we want teams to operate their offense. In these next few clips, we'll show you how we want to defend the yard. It makes the right pass. Disrupted by Kuba. Release on the three from Balgoon, and now some nifty, crafty dribbling to get to the rim. Oh. That is blocked by Kuba. <laughs> Come 
four, and one of the most important tips, after you've had a strong defensive possession, rebound the ball, secure the rebound. One of the biggest breakdowns and one of the ways that teams lose games often in the last possession on second chance shots. How many times have you seen 10 seconds left to go in the game, a shot goes up, great defense was played, shot goes up, guy gets an offensive rebound or tips the ball in. You have to rebound the ball. That's one of the biggest crushes of, of, of great defense is not securing the rebound. Offensive rebounds lead to higher percentage shots and better buckets. Box out and get the rebound. Weak shot corner, Ruddick driving, giving, Simmons twisting, missing, but with the left hand. Simmons faked it inside, Embiid for three, nope, long rebound, taken back, Simmons spins, scoop, no, tip, yes. Oh, wow. Ben Simmons. No clips to show this, but last but not least, number five, take care of the ball on offense. I know it sounds crazy. It's the day of defense, and we're talking about offense. But take care of the ball. If you take care of the ball on offense and you don't have live ball turnovers, it doesn't allow them to get fast break layups. It doesn't allow them to get fast break transition threes, and it lets you allows you to set your defense. Take care of the ball. No live ball turnovers. Well, that does it for this video in the day of defense. The Bruno Boyero day of defense. Enjoy your day. And remember, defense wins championships.